to a Neil Job Job and Clark's food, food reviews. It's been a little while. It has been a little while. Should we tell them why? Yeah. So I so we each had our own thing. I got tied up in a case of vehicular manslaughter. Um, I accidentally killed a 95-year-old woman, ran her over. <laughs> in my defense, I was drunk out of my mind. <laughs> So I did not really know what was going on. Um, well, my thing was that I got a... My 95-year-old grandmother recently passed away. <laughs> I'm really sorry to... I'm re it's not funny. I'm really sorry to hear that. So let's get into the food. I guess that's enough information. You guys don't really need to know our backstory. We've been telling you too much, and we'll yeah. probably tell you more. Maybe. But if you, uh, if you really behave, if you smash that like button with your knuckle, you can't. I don't think they can do it. Do most, you think they can do it? Most people can't. Ninety-five percent of people can't. But I think you can if you try really hard. You can do anything you set your mind to. That's so true. Jub is always spitting. Jub is so real for that. Yeah, that's. <laughs> off the dome. <laughs> off the dome. Actually, we're starting a new movement, guys. Uh, I want you guys to comment. Um, peace and love to everyone and all. We are now peace and love warriors. Peace and love warriors. We are doing the true fight. Um, peace and love to everyone, even that woman I killed and her family. I haven't met them. I don't know who she was. <laughs> what? Yeah, so anyway, guys, we got uh, some really uh, a new, old, new release from Culver's. Basically, yeah, I posted bail just so we could get this. We got, let me uh, pull this up right here so you guys can see what we got going Don't on. Don't dox yourself. Can you guys read that? <laughs> <laughs> Smash that like button if you can read in reverse. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Curd burger. That's what it says. It's we got the, the Curd burger. Curd burger. So we got two of them. We're gonna try them out today. The drink of choice because the curd burger honestly seems a little rich. I got my cup of water. I got bottle. You he got of bottle. Mysterious liquid X. Yep. Jub cares about the world and uses bottles. I could not really care less. So. I like to kill turtles. That's just who I am. That's what you should know about me. Yeah, let's do the unboxing. Exp oh my Tap god! Tap in, jumping Clarkers. Yeah. Can you see this big ah curd on my big ah burger? <laughs> it looks so yummy. It looks yummy. so curdlicious. Shout out to Culver's. Oh wow! Go into your local Culver's and ask for the Jub and Clark meal. Yeah. Hell no. Hell no. Exactly. Um. Tell them J and C sent you. I mean, is there anything else? The experience, it's a normal, it was a normal covers experience, you know, they, they say welcome to delicious and then it just makes me so happy because no one else says that and I feel really welcome. They are very welcoming, though I will say our, um, or our order guy, Jeremy. Talk about rude. Don't they know, don't that, doesn't that train, doesn't that train, doesn't that train, doesn't that train man know that we're filming a video <laughs> right now? Talk about rude. Talk well, about rude. Anyway, our, uh, our order guy, Jeremy, distinctly. Talk about rude. Talk about, yeah, he lied to us. He said that these things were called Kerner burgers. They're called Kurt burgers. It's he written. Said, he said it twice. It. Dude, it's written. Two Kurt Burger, not Kurt Burger. Burger. He was so kinda, basically, I'm pissed off. He was kind of fucked up in the head for that, and he <laughs> lied to us, and you made me feel really unwelcome in our local Culver's. We will be releasing the address. Uh, it's not local Culver's. We're actually visiting a different city right now because we will be releasing. It's not true. Just, well, yeah, we'll true. be releasing the address so you guys can go harass him. Leave it in the comments. Describe it in detail. You know, if it's violent, you know. 
we didn't, we we want our videos to do well. So if it's really violent, make sure you use TikTok language. Like um, oh instead God. of like pulling out his eyeballs, say yeah. like yeah, say like. like uh, uh, like, like uh, a, yanking on like the peeling his grapes. Grapes, yeah, yeah, peeling his grapes. Yeah, that's a good one. But also that could be nuts too. We're that's true. we don't cracking well, those are is berries. nuts. Well, berries. Yeah. True. <laughs> those are berries. And, and, nuts. and nuts. And twig. <laughs> if you break the twig, let us know. Yeah, break, break Jeremy's twig. <laughs> but yeah. So basically, um. I don't know if you guys know this about me. I don't like tomato. I forgot to ask about it w without tomato. I'm going to take the tomato off. Can I have your tomato? Yes. Yeah! Jump likes tomatoes. I'm a newly reformed tomato fiend. Put her on. Double tomato. Zero tomato. All right. So, what are we working with, crew? Yeah, that's what I was... You knew where I was going with it, because I was just about to talk about what we were working with to the crew. <laughs> Cut that part out! Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, Jubbin Clarkers. What are what are we working with today? We got bun, mayo, pickle, onion, lettuce, tomato, patty, and the the, the la pièce de la resistance. Oh, I was gonna say that too. You know how much I like French. <laughs> Uh, the big hack curder. The big hack curder. So I'm thinking first we take a bite of everything I and agree. then we sample just mm -hmm, the curder. Mm -hmm. I like the way you think, Clark. Okay, okay. All right, Jubbin Clarkers. Let's dig, dig in. in. That's our famous line. I think it was a cup burger. So yeah, basically, it's really tasty. Uh, you can taste the cheese in the cup. You can really taste the cheese. That's the one thing I noticed. That's the one thing you notice. Um, in fact, I, would, I actually, I, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to show you the bite I took. I don't know if you can see this, but um, I got the littlest tiny bite of beef. It was all cheese. So hopefully the next bite for me will be a bit better. I'm gonna dig in again. I gotta say though, I was kind of fearing that this would happen. Uh, we go in completely open-minded, but you know, when you look at something like this and you hear about it, you can't, you cannot help but to like have some preconceived notions about what it's gonna be. I mean, that's just the way it is and it, that's okay. You have to work with what you got. But, um, what my fears are kind of true in the sense that I'm not I'm not going to speak for Jub, but for me that first bite was a little unpleasant. It was not the best burger I've ever had by far. Certainly not the best I've had from Culver's. But we'll continue on. Maybe it's just because I had only cheese, no beef. Okay. Actually, yeah, because I got it with the pickle and the burger, and it's a lot better. So, basically, you guys should leave a like because we just did two thumbs up, and that's the rules. Yeah. If you don't. And you know what they say, if you don't, we're going to snap your twig we're gonna snap and your stomp twig. your berries. We're going to stamp your twig and dog your berries. And then, <laughs> and then peel your eyeball. Peel, what? Oh, peel your grapes. <laughs> We'll actually send Braxton Perry to your house. Yeah, Braxton. We have a new member. He's laying back here. He's sleeping right now. Yeah, he's our shooter. He's our shooter. Yeah. He <laughs> he's our hitman. He looks. He has the barcode on the back of his head and everything. Um, and we hire him to unalive people. Unalive people. Unalive people. Yep. Uh, basically, people who are enemies, who have done to us wrong in the past... Because we're peace and love warriors, so we can't be doing that ourselves. Peace and love. Leave it in the comments. Peace and love, everyone. You know, peace and love. One time, my my grandma, before she passed, told me that like if you don't, if you have a problem that money can't fix, don't worry about it. And since Clark and I are really rich off of this whole food review thing, we have so much money now that we could just hire a guy like Braxton for for ourselves. And you know that like. There's nothing morally wrong with spending money to kill someone. 
Because no. we are peace and love warriors. We are peace and love. That's the thing is we spread the message. I mean, unalive someone. Yeah. I mean, unalive someone. You mean unalive someone. Yeah, I mean unalive it's someone. It's kind of like people who go to Chick-fil-A and then maybe once a year they'll like post something on their Instagram about uh, like LGBTQ rights. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the way we are, right? Mm-hmm. Like we're undoing the damage that we've done mm-hmm. by, you know, we're peace and love, peace and love. We hope you guys peace and love. Um, and we also know that none of you guys are rich enough to hire Hitman. I mean, if you are, get in touch. We do have a social club. We would like you to join. Um, we're not going to give any more information other than um, uh, we kind of talk about uh, raunchy things. We do talk about raunchy things. Also, Braxton Perry has a referral code in that you can use with the link in the description if you do want his to hire his, his services use the code uh bp at jnc at with the link in the description and you can get five percent off your next order yeah five percent that's really generous that's I really think. generous and and the first three bullets are free they're on the house free. yeah um it's pretty nice we've been working with braxton for a while he's unalive quite a few people for us if you remember in the last video that we had this little lore drop about uh, GT Dave and how he kind of owned us, mm-hmm. let's just say that uh, he's not going to be in our hair anymore. Yeah, he's not going to be in our hair anymore. Let's just say that uh, the GT kombucha you've been buying on the shelves—that's Gub and Tarks. <laughs> yeah, that's Gub and Tarks exactly. <laughs> that is uh, Gub and Tarks. And it's good. It's just as good. In fact, it's better, if you ask me. Yeah, and you are. So, don't forget to leave a comment and ask if GT Gubbin Tarks Kombucha is better than GT Dave's. Yeah. Ask that in the comments. (laughs) Ask in the comments, and we'll reply, because we love our fans. We respond to every comment. We respond to every comment. We respond to every email. We respond to every Reddit AMA thread. Yes, we do. We've done multiple Reddit AMA threads. People are always asking, why did you kill that woman? Why did you think it was okay to drink and drive? I did not think at all. I was drunk out of my mind. I wasn't thinking. That's my defense. And you know what? Since when did the U.S. make fun illegal? Exactly. Speaking of fun, talk about fun for all ages with this burger right here. Use discount code uh, Culver's at, at Job and Clark at Culver's next time you Culver's. Job and Clark at Culver's next time you Culver's. They'll know. They'll know. You just, you can just say, you can honestly say, j- and they know what you're going to, they already know. Job and Clark. Job and Clark. Yeah. 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 Ugh. Mm. The burger is really like oily from the cheese and stuff. So it looks a little unpleasant. But honestly, I gotta say, when you get a bite of everything, it really helps, especially the pickle. The pickle. It all works together in wonderful harmony, if you ask me. It does, yeah. <laughs> I would say that it doesn't taste super minerally, but it's not like, it's not like gross flat, like in the sense of like, if you ever have like a uh, distilled water or something, like that's like weird. And it's like, we do, it, like it's nice and refreshing. It's really cool. It doesn't have, it has a really neutral flavor that I think uh, really helps to cleanse my palate from the salty Curder burger of Culver's. Um, and let's also take a look at the ice because ice is really important for a lot of you guys. Now, unfortunately, uh, Culver's has big ice cubes. 
uh, you can't really see this. I'm going to put my burger down so you can get a better look. But basically, if you guys are ice chewers in the comments, which I'm not, leave the comments in the comments. Leave a comment in the comments down below. Let us know. Do, do you chew ice? Because I don't, but... Um, Maybe I'll give it a try for you guys. So if you can take a look, this is a thick ice cube. It's it's aesthetically pleasing because <laughs> it's completely clear and transparent, um, which it makes it nice to look at. But will it make it nice to chew? I think you need those air bubbles in it to give it a softer texture. Let's give it a try. <laughs> yeah, guys, the ice is not very good to chew. <laughs> All right, that ends the cl uh, Club Clark's wa Club Aqua Clark's Water Splash Pad Water Tasting Zone. If I had to give a scale on out of 10 of the rating of the water, I think I would probably give it an eight, but the cubes would be a three. Hey, long time no see, Jub and Clark Nation. Jub and Clark Nation, I like that. We should start using that. Do we have a name for our fans? Clarkers and Jubbites, I think, right? Yeah. It's been a while. Jail kind of, you can start thinking about other things. Yeah. Let's get back at it. Yeah, back to it. Now, something I really appreciate, actually, I don't know too much about fast food, but I really like the toasting, just like the, like the inner workings of fast food, but I really like the way Culver's toast their burgers. It's really nice. It reminds me almost of like, Canes, the bread they give you when it's buttered. It is buttered. Whoa! You know what that means. Veterans of the channel knows what Veterans that means. Veterans of the channel knows what that means. Comment before we tell you what it means because you know that that the burp means. Well, welcome to the burp zone. Rapid fire question. Question and answer thing. Question and answer thing. You go first. Okay. What? What was your grandmother's name? Uh, 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 I don't remember. Wow, that's a really interesting name. Do you know where that comes from? Oh wait, that's not my turn to ask a question. Sorry, you go. Why did you kill my grandma? When I, what? I didn't, cause I, was it your grandma? Yeah. What did she look like? Grandma. Leave a comment if you force yourself to drink three beers at a time, cause you're a man. Actually, that's something that we should talk about. I think that Really, today, masculinity, we're having issues with masculinity in the U.S. and across the world where a bunch of a bunch of dudes are acting a bit more like the gals. And this is an issue because I don't have a good reason why, actually. And uh, But it is an issue because I say it is. And because my favorite friend, mentor... Um, really best guy I've ever known, uh, uh, Tucker, I'm not gonna even, uh, Carlson, yeah, it's Tucker Carlson, and Andrew Tate, uh, I meet with them regularly, we talk business, we talk business, we talk profits, and we talk margins, and we talk, what are more business words? Crypto. Crypto, they're really into crypto, I am not quite sold on crypto, but I do love those little monkeys. <laughs> Next topic, masculinity. Yeah, you have to drink, drink four three beers drink. right now. So a lot of okay, I fall under this. I'm sure Jub has. Everyone does. You have one beer and you're like, that was good. I feel like I'm good. Maybe I'll have another. And you then you have a second beer and you're like, you've had a lot of liquid. Maybe you've been eating too, and you're starting to feel the effects of beer. And you're like, I'm in a comfortable place. I don't think I'm gonna have any more beers tonight. WRONG! WRONG! You are a little girl! And that's an issue because, uh, 
We say it is. And we hate girls. We hate girls. We don't know how to talk to them. We don't know how to speak. We don't know what they, they say. They make me feel like I have butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> and they make me feel bad when they say, Ew, get out of here. You smell like beer. <laughs> Your breath smells like freaking beer. I don't want to talk to you. I hate that. I hate that. Girl, I hate that. <sighs> now I'm getting so angry, I don't even remember. You have to drink three beer. three beers right now. I don't care if you're underage. I don't care if you're five years old. Drink three beers At right now. At least three. Drink more. more. You have to force yourself to drink three game, beers drink a night. Drink three beers. Football calls for four. Or if you're drinking, if you're watching a football game right now, drink three. Go in increments. Drink three beer per quarter, if not more. If you touch a white claw, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's talk about our icks and boys. Okay. I don't like it when boys... I don't like it when boys not drink three beers. I don't like it when boys not drink three beers. I don't like it when boys don't drink at all. I don't like it when boys drink one beer. I don't like it when boys drink two beers. I don't like it when boys drink white cards. Gin and tonics are okay because they have liquor in them. Because they have liquor, but yeah. But not Moscow mules. Moscow They're mules not okay. are not okay. They're fruity. They're fruity. Urgh. Yep, ginger is a fruit, and that's an issue. If you eat fruit, and you, if you eat fruit and you uh, take care, let's say, of things like that, like your body, and you're not just eating chicken and lifting weights all the time to be jacked as we candy, are. We are. Welcome to the gun show. That's another thing. We're not going to get into that. But basically, we think that uh, guns aren't enough and everyone should be equipped with space lasers. <laughs> yeah, I actually have a desert, uh, space desert eagle and it goes... <laughs> and it can shoot through five people. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You guys have a space weapon in the comments? Leave, us leave a like. Leave a like. Leave a comment if you got a space weapon, and then type out in another separate comment what sound your space weapon makes. Please let us know because we're curious. We love sounds. That's something about us is we're always listening. When we have two ears and we use them all the time, some people have two ears and they don't use them, and it's sad to us. We use them when we listen and we think and we interpret the world. And one of that ways we interpret the world is through the sound of space guns. And drinking three beers. And drinking three beers. Actually, beer is good for your hearing. Kind of like carrots for your eyes. But don't eat carrots, actually. Because that's fruit. That's fruit. Carrots is fruit. Mm -hmm. And it's shaped like a twig. And we break twigs. And we break twigs. And we break carrots. If I see someone eating a carrot, I break it. Yeah. Horses can eat carrots, though. Because they, uh, they have to. Yeah, because only horses can be girls. Only horses can be girls. And donkeys are boys. Yeah, and donkeys are boys. Don that's so true. If you, if you give a... If you, if you give your donkey a carrot, that's, like, abuse. That is abuse. If you give your donkey a carrot, it's kind of like uh, um, giving... Um, a boy a white claw. A boy a white claw. <laughs> yeah, that's you took the words right out of my mouth. Thank you for that. It's getting steamy in here, actually, <laughs> as it always does, <laughs> because we're just so good at our jobs, I guess. I gotta retry that. That wasn't very good. It's getting steamy in here, guys, and as it always does, and that's because we're two strapping young lads who talk about food, and maybe we get a little heated about topics, but that's because we're passionate. That's what this world is missing, and that's what the food review circles are missing, is passion. The liberals confuse anger for passion. They do. And that's an issue. That's and the an liberals issue. are an issue. That's why I think um, uh, we are actually moving. We're not saying where, but we basically lived in a place that had a lot of um, uh, liberals, and it was really blue. And we're both wearing red, so I think that tells you something. But actually, both sides are bad, and we're not political. I scratched that. Both sides are bad, we're not political. Yeah. Well said. All right, Clark. Any closing remarks about our review for the Culver's Curter Burger for the last close closing remark time? So, yeah. I think I'd like to say that I went in with not very high hopes. That first bite was kind of gross. 
it did exceed expectations, but my expectations were low. So if I had to give the burger itself a rating, I still don't really like it that much, kind of. I'm thinking like a 4.8. Like, just below, like, mid-tier. Um, the experience as a whole, though, is a two because Justin gaslit us. And that was a really got me going. Joe? I, I must agree with uh, Clark in his la later statement about how um, Jeffrey lied to us. Not cool. Um, I didn't appreciate that, so I'm going to have to take it down a couple points. But the burger itself, truly, truly a masterpiece. I know that we haven't broken into this territory on this show yet, but I will say I'm going to give the Culver's Curter Burger a 12 out of 10 jubs and will be going on the Curter Burger diet from now on. That's a really good idea. Actually, you know what? We'll make... Because sometimes it takes a while for us to edit these videos, so... Mm -hmm. if If this video was recorded a while before, like you know, we, we publish it. Maybe we'll post an update to see what what uh, Jub looks like on the Curter Burger <laughs> diet. And you guys can see, because I'm really curious. And I feel like keto is kind of like, we're kind of realizing now that it's actually stupid. Um, but maybe the Curter Burger diet's where it's at, and that's how you get it So, I mean, uh, do you have any closing remarks? Pickle. I think I have a few closing remarks. One of them, guys, we haven't said it yet. Please subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button. Please, 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 we're begging you. Also, please hit that not notification bell. Oh, you gotta ding it. You gotta, you gotta, make, you it. gotta make it. You gotta make it clap. You gotta make it ding. Clap with no hands. Clap with no hands. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make, do that to the bell. Um, it, uh, in case you don't know, it lets it gives you a notification every time Jub and Clark post, which is pretty frequently, if you ask me. And you are. So yeah. anyway. So, so in summary, Curter Burger Diet. Like, subscribe, comment, comment it again, notification bell. Like it. Uh, like, make sure you liked it. Double check you liked it. Share this video with your friends. Share this video with your family. Share this video with your dog. Share this video with your grandma. We did a sub... What? We did a sub... We, we did a study, actually, that our videos are really good for animals. So any animal you have will work. You should show it to them. So I guess that's basically it. I Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to say. Guys, guys only. No one else. Drink three beers a day, at least. And if Minimum. you don't, we'll send Braxton Perry. We'll send Braxton Perry and he might do things to you. And you wouldn't really want that. And we wouldn't want that because that would cost us money. But we actually have so much money, it does not even matter one bit. So, thank you guys for watching. And I guess we will see, see you next time! time.